Hi everybody, this is a lesson about impedance when in an AC circuit, when you have a resistor and a capacitor that's connected in series. Now the thing is, whenever you have a component in any circuit, the component limits the current and this current limiting effect is what's called impedance and this is represented by the letter Z. Now, if you have just a resistor in an AC circuit, you have the resistance which impedes the current. So the impedance of a resistor is called resistance. However, when you have a capacitor in an AC circuit, a capacitor also has current limiting effects and that is called reactance. But when you have them both together in an AC circuit, they combined, they will have a combined effect which will result in um, the current that is generated from your voltage source. Now, we know that using Ohm's law, that the voltage across the resistor is I times R, where I is the circuit current. The voltage across the capacitor is I times, and instead of R, we put XC, which where X is the reactance of the capacitor. And the voltage across the supply is I and you put Z, which is the combined effect of resistance and reactance, and that's called impedance. Okay, so we learned in the last lesson that there is a voltage phase difference between the voltage across the resistor and the voltage across the capacitor. And we learned that if we draw a phase off, so I'm just going to draw a voltage phase off. So we never mix quantities when we're doing these uh, phase or diagrams. So the voltage across the resistor is, it's customary to draw it as a horizontal line. The voltage across the capacitor lags the voltage across the resistor by 90 degrees. So this is the voltage across your capacitor. And the way that we got the supply voltage was by completing this paleogram and you have your voltage across the supply. So using Pythagoras, we did get voltage across the supply squared is equal to voltage across the resistor squared plus voltage across the capacitor squared. Now in this equation, if instead of Vs, I put Iz, so I've got Iz and it's squared equals, and instead of Vr, I've got Ir and that's squared Plus, and instead of VC, I've got IXC squared. If you look at all this, you see that I is a common factor across all of them. So I can get Z squared equals R squared plus XC squared. Or my impedance is square root of RC squared plus XC squared. So I can also draw an impedance phase or diagram. So this is a voltage phase or diagram. And this one, I'm going to draw below this, an impedance phase or diagram. So don't mix up quantities, okay? So I'm just repeating that because it's really important you don't mix these up. Okay, so the voltage across, um, sorry, instead of voltage across the resistor, I've got my R squared here and my xc just lower this a little bit so you can see what's at the bottom okay this is xc squared okay no just xc over here sorry and um and that's my z okay and so that's how that's how i get z squared is r squared plus x squared so and what the thing that you need to remember is that the circuit current is always in phase with the resistor okay and the impedance which lags the resistance by whatever theta degrees so at the end of this what you need to do is in your booklets there are some questions on AC Ohm's law and you can do three of these questions because they are for resistor capacitor circuits. So it's question one, 
leave question two because it's got an inductor question one three and four is what you can do at this after this lesson so bye for now i hope that helped